Hi everyone, it's Lonnie. Welcome to day 23 of our May Bible Journal. Today's prompt is mercy. And I know we do a lot of verses on mercy, but what better subject is there? Because if it wasn't for God's grace and mercy, we would not be able to enter and know the Father. So today's selection is Exodus chapter 33, verses 19 through 21. And I picked the NIV because of the word mercy. And the Lord said, I will cause all my goodness to pass in front of you, and I will proclaim my name, the Lord, in your presence. I will have mercy on whom I will have mercy, and I will have compassion on whom I will have compassion. But, he said, you cannot see my face, for no one may see, my, no one may see me and live. Then the Lord said, there is a place near me where you may stand on a rock. And I made some notes because something stood out to me here. The fulfillment of this Exodus 33 is found in John chapter 14, um, verse 21 specifically, I guess. Jesus is the fulfillment. He is the rock. So this part here takes on deeper meaning when you recognize that Jesus is the rock. There is a place near me where you may stand on a rock. So this rock, Jesus, is a place near God. And that's how we get near God, is if we stand on the rock that is Jesus. As for this part here, I will have mercy on whom I will have mercy. People will say that um, that shows that God is into pre-selection or predetermination. I believe this strongly is that he is merciful to those who humble themselves and seek his mercy. So if we seek his mercy, he will be faithful and he will show it. So my personal take on this was when we stand on Christ, the solid rock, we will know and experience God's character and see his working in our lives. And so I thought this was a very good verse to focus on because there's people everywhere now that are confused and deceived and they don't know they don't even believe that there's a heaven they don't believe that there's a hell well God does not question the existence of these things it's only people that doubt. Even demons know that there is a God and they shudder. So I think the enemy works really hard trying to deceive people into thinking that there is no, um, no heaven or hell. I picked to do this picture of the sun with the different rays. It's hard for us to even look at the sun, at the natural sun, with just our, you know, unprotected eyes. And God said, no one can see his face and live.
Yeah, so that's what I have for today. Exodus 33, verses 19 through 21. I wish you a good day filled with the love of Jesus. And if you don't think he's there for you today, I heard somebody stop being a Christian because they said that God wasn't there for them and they still had to handle everything on their own. I submit that God is not there to serve us. We are fortunate that we get to serve him. So, humility. Seek his face. All right. Be blessed. And we'll see you again next time. Bye for now.